Fort Lauderdale, Florida is a super popular cruise hub and people are asking us all the time about hotel and restaurant options for before and after their cruise. If you're contemplating or already booked a cruise out of Fort Lauderdale, this is the video for you. Stick around for some great ideas. A few booking and travel tips up front. If you are newer to cruising, the best advice I can give you is don't risk flying in the day of your cruise. With airline cancellations and weather, it's just not worth the risk of missing your cruise. Flying in the day before and choosing a comfortable and economical hotel is the much less riskier option. Two, it often saves you a few dollars to join the VIP club of the hotel chains you like. Membership is free and it's easy to sign up on their website. Three, cost for an overnight hotel stay will range based on supply and demand according to the time of year you are booking. It is best to book out as far as possible to get the lowest rate. Be sure Pay close attention to whether you are booking with a refundable rate and a 24-hour cancellation. If you do that, you can always return to the hotel site after booking, and if the price has dropped, you can cancel and rebook to get the lower price. Now, on to some hotel options. Hampton Inn and Suites Fort Lauderdale Airport South is, as it sounds, right near the airport. Most hotels near the airport have a free shuttle, so keep that in mind when budgeting your expenses. This hotel is off Highway 1, three miles from the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. The cruise port and Hollywood Beach are each about five miles away. This hotel also offers a shuttle to the cruise port. When we were there, the shuttle was $10 per person, but be sure and check at the front desk immediately upon your arrival to get the current pricing and because the list fills up fast. As you'll see, this hotel offers a snack room near the front desk with snacks for purchase, along with an office area you can use if you have forgotten something like printing any of your cruise paperwork or your luggage tags. This hotel also offers a free breakfast every morning. It includes choices like waffles with all the toppings, toast, scrambled and boiled eggs, one or two options of breakfast meats, and several options of cereal. Remember that hotels that include breakfast are also very helpful for the budget, especially if you're traveling with a family. They also have a small gym that at this time had only a couple of kettlebells and three cardio machines. Additionally, hopefully you won't need to do laundry pre-cruise, but if you're staying here after your cruise, they also have a laundry room and it might come in handy. The machines do require money. And this is room 217 of the Hampton Inn & Suites Airport South. So you walk in and right there is the restroom. We'll come back to that. It looks like this is a connected room because right here is the connected room. And here's the closet right here as you walk in. I have hangers and a, an iron and an ironing board. That's helpful. This is just a regular room, not a suite or anything. And it's very it's wonderful for us. We like Hampton Inn & Suites. We have good luck with them. Right as you walk in, you've got the table where we already have our bags. Big screen TV. Looks like a microwave and refrigerator right down here for some drinks or whatever you might need to put in there while you're here. Yeah, it's a cooler, not really a refrigerator, but it'll do for some leftovers or some, or some drinks. Then we get a mirror and a desk over here. And then in the corner here, you have a chair with a little pullout table. That's handy. If you want to do some work or if you just want to sit and do your wellness questionnaire the day before your cruise. They have plugs right beside the bed. Looks like USB and American plugs. Full length mirror, which is nice. And a mirror, of course, by the desk as well. Thermostat as you walk into the room, which does work and controls the AC, which is over there against under the window. The other plug-in, the other side of the bed also has the same plugs, two USB and two American plugs. Go back and see the restroom. Typical again for Hampton Inn. Standing shower though, no tub. Nice, it looks like they've redone probably the rooms before they've redone the hotel because the hotel's still a little older. 
And this is the view with the window open. It gives some wonderful light and you just pull both of these strings here. One for the overhead cover and another for the inside cover. It's not much of a view. You're actually looking at the parking lot. If you are driving, you could park your car on this side of the building and be able to see your car. The second Fort Lauderdale hotel option we have to share is the Hampton Inn at Pompano Beach. This hotel is also off Highway 1. The Cypress Creek Business District and I-95 are four miles away and the beach is 10 minutes away. On this trip, we decided to rent a car at the airport because it was less expensive than paying for transportation from the airport to the hotel and then from the hotel to the cruise port the next morning. The car rental at the airport had a free shuttle to the cruise port, so that was an added bonus. This being another Hampton Inn, it has many of the same amenities as the last one, including a snack room with extra fee snacks up front by the desk and an office area for those last minute print jobs. They have an included breakfast bar with the same food options as mentioned earlier. This hotel also has a gym, but with many more machines and a nice selection of free weights. The pool area at this hotel was also nice. Our room was on the seventh floor and was also a regular king room. This hotel appeared to be newer than the last one, or at least more recently refurbished. The bathroom had some nice amenities, including 0% brand hand and body lotion on the counter, as well as the same brand of shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel in the shower area. There was also a hair dryer provided, which is always nice for saving room in your packing. Behind the full-length mirror right outside the restroom was the closet. It was roomy and included an extra pillow, a few hangers as always, an iron, and a full-size ironing board. The room was typical of a Hampton Inn, including an ice bucket and a few paper cups, the always present big screen TV and remote, a microwave, and a cooler, which would do the job to keep a few drinks or snacks cool. This room also included a small coffee maker on top of the desk area with some added plugs near the lamp. The seating area includes a small pull-out table, and the king-size bed was bookended with plugs on either side that included two American three-prong plugs and one USB plug. If you have the choice to pick your room once you get to the front desk, the views on this side of the hotel were beautiful. During our trips to Fort Lauderdale, while we've been vlogging, we have visited many restaurants and wanted to share a few of those experiences with you so you can plan every aspect of your pre-cruise visit. The address of each restaurant will be listed on the screen. Be sure and note that the first few restaurants are within walking distance of the first hotel we shared earlier in the video. It was great for the budget to not have to rent a car or pay for an Uber. We picked a restaurant off TripAdvisor, the Fish Grill in Fort Lauderdale. We just got here and we're still looking at the menu. Oh. Okay, what did you end up ordering? I have the mushroom Swiss burger. That is a big Medium. piece of meat. Look at that. And the beautiful tomatoes and onion. And that looks like And the wedgie fries. fries. Wedgie fries? Is that that's kind of scary. <laughs> like wedgie. Wedgie. Yeah. Wedge. Not wedgies. Wedge. Wedge fries. <laughs> that would be painful. Ow! And I got the fish and chips. I am a fish and chips aficionado, so I am very anxious to try them. These are amazing. The fries are excellent. Um, JJ said the burger, seriously, he's been in Texas for how many years? 48. 48 years. And he's he can't remember a better burger. So the burgers here are excellent. My uh, fish and chips, it's not the best I've ever had. The fish was not as crispy as I like. I like it super crispy. Um, but the taste of everything was excellent and the service was excellent. And now we're going to get ice cream, which is a five minute walk up the street at Key West Shaved Ice. Let's do this. Let's do this ice cream. Wow, look at all those flavors. Let's do this ice cream, y'all. Oh my goodness. Everyone loves ice cream and y'all have so many flavors. We flew all the way from Texas to taste your ice Excellent. cream. Excellent. Everything fresh. Everything. Wow. 
look at this y'all oh my goodness so we've been trying some flavors here and i tried the yes. peanut butter and the banana and seriously i uh, i tasted the peanut butter and then as i was <laughs> swallowing it it just got better in my mouth as i was it was it was ruminating in my mouth i don't know how i'm gonna decide it's like i, I told erica who works here i said JJ asked her what her favorite flavor was and she was like, oh, you can't make me pick one. I said, it's like choosing a child, like your favorite child. So I made a decision. She is getting me us chocolate fudge brownie and banana. That is crazy beautiful. If you've gotten value from this video so far, smash that like button and subscribe for more pearls of knowledge about cruise and travel. Here is Padrino's and we're hoping that we don't need a reservation. We'll see. So this is a very uh, quaint, uh, eclectic. I love it. Look at these big, nice seats I'm sitting in, and it's just very interesting. Hello, how are you? This is Padrinos. Welcome. We just got our food. Oh my goodness! What did you get, JJ? Pollo asada with black beans and rice and plantains. Look at that. That is a huge piece of chicken. Beautiful. Huge chunk of rice. Beautiful. I ended up getting an appetizer because we had such a large lunch and I can't remember the name of it. Uh, we're having some Fiesta Tostones today. She had to pronounce it for me, but it's got plantains. You can see the plantains in there and it's got sausage and chicken. And you, I had a special request because I didn't want the salsa that was on it. And so you brought me chimichurri sauce. Yes. So they will fix it special for you if you want something different if of course <laughs> yes thank you so jj is tearing into his chicken like literally on the bone amazing the flavor is amazing is it like sauteed or marinated roasted i don't know what they're using for seasoning but i like it cuban it's excellent wow dinner was amazing now it's time for i got my choice Oh, I'm sorry, were you wanting me to share this? Uh, yeah. Good luck with that. That's cold. Before jumping on the ship, we walked right across the street from my hotel to enjoy breakfast at the First Watch restaurant. I got the power wrap because I need some power. What's it got in it? It has egg whites, turkey, spinach, mushrooms, onions, tomato, all the stuff I love. Excellent. And I got bacon and turkey gravy, turkey sausage gravy. And I replaced the potatoes it usually comes with, with a fruit cup. And then of course, I gotta have my eggs for breakfast. I literally heard JJ say he couldn't finish his food. Too much. Look at what he's leaving. Like half of it, right? Half of a half. That was a big serving. Half of a half. And very filling. Lots of food. Yeah. And I'm leaving, I mean, a lot of mine too. It's just a lot of food. We went to go to lunch on down the road, but we drove by this place and decided to stop. It's called Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza. It looks lovely. We, we hadn't had pizza much on the cruise ship, surprisingly enough. Sorry, you can hear the traffic. And so we decided to stop by here. JJ got the salad did you get? House salad. The house salad? But it's an Italian salad. It's like like a, like a Mediterranean. Yeah. Okay. Black olives and garbanzo beans. And this is the this is a really interesting kind of eclectic place. These are um, some things up on the wall. Like, you know, the, the Godfather. Forget about it. Forget about it, Red. And then uh, Anthony's now selling a little pot uh, of meatballs. It's just a really nice a patio area you have the the cushion seats as well um as these longer tables and we're at one of these long we're at one end of one of these longer tables big screen tv out here a couple of them that is a pizza look at that that's beautiful sausage i mean um, hamburger and pepperoni beautiful. actually whole Thank meatballs you. and pepperoni on one side and everything in the kitchen sink on the other side and we got a 12 inch, which is six pieces, because we don't need leftovers. I have to make sure my meatballs don't fall off. And it's hot right out of the oven, too. Hot, hot. I have real beef meatballs. And the sauce is very Italian. Like marinara spicy sauce. 
Two thumbs up. You are not eating eating pizza with a fork. Yes, you are. I am because I got too much junk on here. It's piled up and I don't want to drop any. That's wrong. Got to go in my mouth, not on the floor. Ready? Don't forget the jalapeno. Uh. <laughs> it's a hot one. Hot pepper? It's a hot pepper. The ingredients are very flavorful. The pepper is very hot. Tomato sauce is perfect. The crust is amazing. I'm going back to eating. So here's the inside. You have the bar area. All the sports memorabilia on the wall. Another big screen TV. When we stayed in the Pompano Beach Hotel, we visited a second Anthony's location, which is literally just down the street from that hotel. It was the same quality environment, service, and food. We just arrived at Jackson's Ice Cream Parlor. We're gonna check it out. And here we are at Jackson's. Wow, 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 wow. Man, oh man. Oh yeah. Thank you, dear. Oh man, can you believe this? Unbelievable. You are not gonna guess who we ran into. Jackson's, and she is so kind to give us a few words of history and information about your place. I'm Linda Zakheim, Linda Udell Zakheim. My father was the original owner, Monroe Udell, and he opened up Jackson's in 1956. We've been in the same location for now 66 years. Everything is homemade on premise every single day. We make our own ice cream toppings, sodas, oh my whipped goodness. cream. All of our foods, such as pastrami, corned beef soups. You make your own root beer? We make our own root beer, and it's the best root beer you'd ever have. So a root beer float here is probably it's like... It's like to die for with our homemade ice cream. A little heaven on earth. It really is. And everything is super sized. My dad had this concept to enlarge everything from day one and use like the most premium quality and the largest portions you can imagine. And we're also known for our kitchen sink, which is kitchen sink it's about it's in a real kitchen sink and it's about a pound of ice cream oh my <laughs> per person minimum of four people so a small sink is going to have over four pounds of ice cream plus all the cold toppings that we make right here at jackson's i don't know where to salute or start eating and this is the two scoop serving we're gonna dig in it's rocky road up top and chocolate peanut, peanut butter, butter on the bottom also near the Pompano Beach Hotel is Lester's Diner, which we visited for lunch the day we arrived and breakfast the next morning before we headed to the ship. It's a 50 style diner with an extremely full menu, including everything from burgers to Greek specialties, Italian, and most importantly, they serve breakfast all day long. Here's the menu if you need to pause the video and take a look, or their menu is also available on their website. They have locations in Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach, Sunrise, and Margate. So if you're interested, look for a Lester's near your Fort Lauderdale hotel. JJ had a corned beef sandwich on rye, which he said reminded him of New Jersey. And I had the largest beef footlawn hot dog I have ever seen in my life. Be sure and come hungry. If you ever cruise out of Miami, check out this video right here for Miami hotel and restaurant options. Thanks for stopping by and be blessed.